I don't know how many of you have heard about the news with, you know, teams leaving conferences and joining other ones, but the Big Ten and the SEC are two very popular um, conferences right now, and why wouldn't they be? I mean, they're the two biggest conferences in the entire landscape of college football. The only reason the SEC, they're the ACC, is any has any sort of relevancy is because of teams like Clemson. Um, but the SEC and the Big Ten is where the bulk of the major good teams are. Um, and by the way we're going, a lot of teams could be, or a few different teams could be joining the Big Ten. Now there's already, they're already saying that Texas and Oklahoma are leave, going trying to leave the Big 12, or they already have, and are going trying to go to the SEC, or already have. And, you know, I, I think that's pretty interesting. Um, I think them being in the SEC is actually better. Um, you know, I feel like one of these days, we're just barely going to be any conferences. Um, I mean, there's still going to be conferences... But the major ones will be the SEC and the Big Ten. And you know what? I think I'm okay with that because they're already the biggest conferences anyway. I'm not saying we can't have our other conferences, but um, I, I, I like some of these moves. I think Texas and Oklahoma going to the SEC is a great idea. Um, and it just puts more competition in the SEC. Because, I mean, Texas and Oklahoma, they're not the greatest teams in the world, but Oklahoma is, you know, they've been a title contender a few years. I don't know about Texas, but I think that would be really interesting. Now, the Big Ten, they already have a few different teams, or a couple of different teams, um, that are considering um, the, Big Ten, the Big Ten, which is Kansas, um, which Kansas was the one that was like huge to a lot of people. But not for football. They wouldn't be they wouldn't be in the Big Ten football conference. They would be in the Big Ten basketball conference. Which I mean, if you're gonna go all in, go all in. I think you they should put their football team in there as well. But I understand why they don't want to, because their football team is absolute hot garbage and an embarrassment. And if you wanna make them even worse, if you wanna make them lose even more. Big Ten, is, the putting him in the Big Ten is a great way to make that happen. But for basketball, I think that would be a great idea. Um, yeah, I think that would be an absolutely fantastic idea. Uh, the other school I was hearing about was Oklahoma State, which it just feels weird that Oklahoma State would be in a different conference than Oklahoma, but I guess, I mean, Iowa and Iowa State are in different conferences, so... I mean, there's that. And I'll talk about Iowa State in a second. But Oklahoma State, I, I think and they, they're going to go all in for football and basketball. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't. It, it just doesn't feel like Oklahoma State fits um, into the Big Ten, in my opinion. Not saying that there wouldn't be some great games in the in the Big Ten with Oklahoma State in football and basketball, but I just don't think they don't I don't think they fit without Oklahoma. So I mean, if Oklahoma joins the Big Ten with Oklahoma State, then yeah, that would be pretty cool. But just Oklahoma State, eh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Now. I don't know why Kansas and Oklahoma State. Those are the two that everyone's talking about. But here are the two that I want to see. The two teams in the Big Ten that I want to see and should be in the in the Big Ten um, are two teams. One, Iowa State. Why? Because Iowa is in the Big Ten. Put Iowa State in the Big Ten. It's already a huge rivalry. You know, they play almost every year. It's a non-conference game, which is just weird to me. They, it should be a conference game. That should be a game. You can put you can put both of them in the East, 
you know, you know, keep Iowa in the in the or I'm sorry, they're in the West Conference, not the East. Um, put put Iowa put Iowa State in the East Conference or whatever. I don't know, um, or the East part of the the Big Ten Conference. Um, and this okay, so there's Iowa State. They're kind of a no-brainer to me, but the second one is also a no-brainer. Notre Dame. Notre Dame needs to join the Big Ten. I know they won't. I know it's completely worthless. They have an NBC contract that gets them to be on TV every week when they have when they have a home game. Plus, they, have, they, have, they actually have a lot of home games this year. They have more home games than they should. I think they have eight or something. Or I think they only have like four road games, not including uh, neutral site because they have one neutral site game against Wisconsin in Chicago. Uh, I think at Soldier Field, I think. I don't remember what field. I don't remember what stadium they're playing at. And I don't really care. Um, but there's that. And But Notre Dame joining the Big Ten is something I've wanted for a long time. It would... You would... Could you imagine the games we would get? You know, we would get Ohio State, Notre Dame. You know, that game could actually... I would love, I would love to see that game as much as I hate both teams. Sorry, I'm a Michigan fan. I... I, I'm a little biased, but as much as I hate Notre Dame and as much as I hate losing to Notre Dame, you know, and you know, you probably think, oh, you're a Michigan fan. You guys beat them a couple years ago. Wouldn't you rather hold on to that, hold on to that, you know, that um, bragging rights of beating them and holding that record for 15 some odd years because we're not playing them again until 2032 or three or whatever it is um and yeah it's nice to have that bragging rights but in my honest opinion the michigan notre dame is a is a huge rivalry game and should be played every single year it should be a yearly tra like the michigan ohio state game like clockwork every single year Michigan and Notre Dame should be facing each other it should not be you know they play some years they play don't they don't play some years we did play them every year for a while until they they chickened out of playing us um after 2014 i think it was and then we didn't play them for a few years finally played them again uh, in 2018 and 19 um, and then after that moved away from it they moved away again so um, yeah since 20 you know we don't play each other very often I mean after 2014 we played twice Notre Dame won one Michigan won one I'm telling you it's a back and forth rivalry that should happen every year it should be on the schedule schedule second or third week into the season every year every single year don't put it in the week one game though give them both a game where they can practice pretty much like a like a nothing game you know how a lot of big teams play nobody teams in week one michigan has western michigan notre dame has whoever they play i think they have florida state they'll beat florida state uh, i mean i'm not gonna say florida state's garbage or anything but they're not notre dame so it should it should just honestly they should be in the conference. But okay, don't if you don't want to put them in the conference, if you don't want to join the the Big 10 conference Notre Dame, that's fine. But we should be Michigan and Notre Dame should definitely play uh more. Um I guess we're going to have to wait until 2033 or whatever year it is to play them again. I mean, it's a shame it really is, but um, it's a game that should be played every year, but what do you guys think about this, this big 10 thing and the SEC thing and these teams potentially joining those conferences and for football and basketball? Um, in my honest opinion, if we get Kansas and, and for, for basketball and we get Oregon or Oregon state, goodness, Oklahoma state for football and basketball. I think that'll be fine. Um, I think for basketball, Kansas would be great. That's a great idea. Oklahoma State, I'm not too crazy about, but 
I, I just feel like Oklahoma State should be, a, in, in, you know, come with another team. Because then we, we just have an uneven, uneven amount of teams in the Big Ten, and I don't like that. So um, the OCD will get to me having an uneven amount of teams in the Big Ten for football. We'd have 15 teams. Now, I already think it's ridiculous. We're called the Big Ten, and we have 14 teams. And you add another one? We got. We should just be called the Big Twenty and add, you know, six other teams. Wow, it took me a long time to do that math. Six other teams and just become the Big Twenty, because it seems like that's where we're headed anyway. So I don't know. Let me get. Let, let me. You guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing because Kansas for basketball, I think, is a great idea. I think that's a great way to have some more competition in football or football basketball especially since the Big Ten is a, a a very good conference in basketball as well. But also, how, how do you guys think about uh, Oklahoma State potentially joining the Big Ten for football and basketball? For basketball, I think it would be all right, but for football, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let me. You guys let me know what you think.